Today we're going to continue working on this little drawing and what we're going to do is um, we've done the ground floor walls we've added some doors and windows into those and now we're going to draw this first floor. Now on a sketch that you might have you might have drawn all of the plans together. We want to try to make sure that when we're working in ARCHICAD we don't get into the habit of doing it like we would in AutoCAD where we draw plans beside each other. Instead we want to draw them on top of each other where they should be. So if we go down to where this original reference was down on the AHD story I'm going to copy this and at the moment I'm just going to use the terrain story, it doesn't matter that it's the wrong story at the moment and I'm going to move this so I'm moving the position of this story over so it's sitting over the top of the other one so I'm going to find a common point, drag, I'll use the bottom right hand side in this instance, click, click now, if this was a, a perfect sketch or if this was a, um, an architectural drawing, then that would be, which was a, a vector drawing, uh, then I'd be more precise. It's not really going to be precise because I know it's already not to scale and there's lots of issues with it. But what that means is that when I go to the ground floor, I'm still currently viewing my trace reference of the bottom story. But now if I want to copy this up, I'm going to take some of this information. So I'll select the walls, those, particularly those four external walls that we had around the outside. I'm going to copy those, Command C, go up to first floor by double clicking and then paste those. In this case I'll, I'll just do right click paste. Now those windows aren't correct anymore so I'm going to select my window tool, press Command or Control A and delete to get rid of those. Press Escape to go back to my arrow. Uh, select both of those two walls. Now I'm going to intersect these. Now that I'm going to have a bit of an issue with intersecting these. When I try, look what's going to happen. It's going to intersect the wrong way. I mentioned this briefly last time, just to say that the Archicad doesn't necessarily know what we're doing. It's guessing. So what it was trying to do is intersect the two longest lengths. So we needed to just reduce that, and then it would intersect a lot easier. So this is what I'm left with, but again, my plan is over here. How do I fix that? I need to now link my new reference. So instead of having the AHD as my reference, I'm going to right-click on the terrain, show a trace reference, and we can see now that that plan is going to shift across because I copied that reference, pasted it on a different story, and moved it into another position. Now I could have just used this option here drag reference. The reason I didn't do that in this case is because I didn't actually want to move the original reference. I wanted to keep two references and that means that when I go down to ground floor I can right click on AHD, show as trace reference. When I go up to first floor I can right click on terrain and show as trace reference. So just easily I can toggle between those two without having any issues about what it's seeing. Now I need to draw in my internal walls if in doubt, what I can always do is, again, copy some from below. So I can select one of those, copy, up onto first floor, paste. In this case, there's nothing special about this wall necessarily. So to pick up the settings, rather than moving it into place, what I can do is hold Alt, left click, and that will now change my standard wall setting. Now, these, well, I haven't measured up these particular areas upstairs, so I'm just guessing or just tracing over but I don't want to do that at the detriment of using real numbers. So what I'm going to do is start sketching. We see that these walls don't necessarily align. I'm going to start sketching, start drawing the wall, flip it around in this case. It says that this bedroom, it's upside down, so it's a little bit hard to read, is supposed to be 3.2 meters. So if I was to drag this back to the other side, we see that that's 3016. So if I don't want to do the math, I will just move it and then I'll drag it back 3200 zero, zero, and then we know it's in place. Now I'm going to try this and possibly going to find it's not going to work and I'll explain why in a second. I'm going to drag this one all the way over to the other side in the same way now drag it back. Now following the same logic I could assume that that's 4 And then let's measure in the middle and see what we're left with. 3.4. So it's close to 3.5. So it's possible that um, 
we haven't made a mistake. Like I said, there's a discrepancy with these plans anyway, so I'm not awfully concerned. Now to finish this off, again, I'm just going to draw a wall here and move it into place. The other way I could do that, which I'll do now, is if I want to make this hallway a particular size, I might draw a line first. So maybe I'll, I'll make that 950. And then I'll drag a copy of that wall across. So I could always draw a new wall. Dragging a copy is just as simple, sometimes even more simple. And then of course, like I said, I, I always want to be making these walls as consistent as possible. I don't want to cut out these walls and have multiple walls joining. I want them to run through. Uh, and instead of cutting a hole in the wall, we're just going to use a door tool or even an empty opening to represent where we want those doors to be. Now we'll have an issue with this one that it's not going to fit very nicely because I've made that only 950, but that's probably the reality. Again with the doors, I tend to not worry about placing it perfectly, but then once I've pasted it, just move it slightly so it's in the right place. Uh, this wall here is a little bit odd. This one a, has a 45 intersection. Now where does it intersect on that 45? It's probably going to be intersecting from this corner here. So I'm likely going to change the way this one works. Just extend that through. Now getting this to meet, meet or match up is going to be a little bit nasty. Uh, and it's probable that I need to add in a empty opening here. So I'm going to go downstairs because I remember I had one downstairs. Here, let's just go into the settings so we can see what that is. So that's just a rectangular door opening found under empty door openings found in the Archicad 21 library. Going back up, I can now insert that here and then just stretch it to size. And the reason why I'm using an empty door opening rather than just cutting a hole in that wall is because I don't want that hole to run all the way up. I only want that to run up, in this case, to 2100. Now to finish this off, I'll drag this across. Delete. That. I don't want that anymore. You see that these walls aren't actually aligned. So I'm going to split this one. At this point and then move it back. Let's assume 150. Drag a copy of that one. 600 and again we'll split this one rather than having to redraw it and we'll move that one 350 just a few more things we need to do we need to split this one here so we'll in this case use trim so I'm going to trim this wall back to the last intersection so it's going to trim it there. Now it commonly happens, depending on the way this works, I've been a little bit lazy with my reference line, so I might need to flip these around to make a bit more sense of it. I have a reference line here on the inside, then it goes to the outside, then it's outside. So if I select both of these and press intersect, we see it's going to join up nicely. It's not necessarily joining up nicely with this one though. So I can flip that around. The reality is that these walls are going to be maintained like this and they're not going to need more detail, so it's not essential in this case that I do that. Let's just continue this one through. Cut that out. And then depending on how detailed I'm wanting to be, I could draw a wall and then put a door in for the robe. What I tend to do is not that but rather just to represent the robe 
with a slab and into that slab I'll generally make it represent the way that it should so I'll have it sitting at zero base to ground make it the height of the ceilings 2400 and give it a cover fill of empty fill with a background of white I can make the foreground white as well, it doesn't really matter. And that's just going to cover over what's underneath. But that's about as much detail as I need. Now, if the robe had a wall, um, I would draw a wall in. Uh, but these robes, I believe, are just a piece of joinery. So it's not something that I need to do. move that across a bit. Alright, so one more door for the bath. We'll reduce this one down to 800. We could possibly do that for all of these doors. Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> 8,000, that's why. And then downstairs, I don't know that I've done one yet. Yep, at the front door I did a double door, I'll just use that one, just rather than having to search for it again, just to do the, the linen door. Now I can choose to reduce the opening angle to represent it like we see it here. So I can change that to 30, just to get that look. doesn't really affect the way the door works. So now we've got our, turn the trace off, now we've got our first floor and our ground floor. And for a concept design or even for a DA drawing, just representing the walls as a solid black surface. So it's a basic wall structure. I just used one that I created which was solid and the wall thickness is custom, I just made it 270. The internal walls, I did those as 110. And the point is that this allows for a lot of flexibility. I'm not, if it was a new project, I'd be suggesting to council that, um, that it's non-defined. I haven't yet determined what the materiality is and that's why it's being shown this way. Um, and if it's an existing, we often will show black to show that it is existing and then we'd show new works in a different um, fill representation. But again, for concept or for conceptual design, just making them solid black tends to make it more visually appealing and it makes your drawings look good without you necessarily having to think too much about the actual material construction. And if, it, if you've got any situations where your walls aren't joining perfectly, um, they are pretty well hidden by being black as well.